Today we're going to talk about something called variables inside JavaScript. And variables you will be using all the time inside JavaScript. So it's quite important you learn about variables. Now when it comes to variables, it's slightly different than if you know a bit of PHP. So even if you know PHP, you should follow along in this lesson just to see what the differences are. Now, a variable is basically when you set something equal to some kind of data. To give you guys an example, I can actually go ahead and create a variable here by writing va and then the name of the variable, which could be, for example, person. I'm just making this up. So right now, what we did here was we said, okay, we're going to declare a variable called person, which means we're creating a variable called person. Every time you create a variable for the very first time, you have to write var in front of the name, like I did here. So right now we have a variable, but it's not equal to anything yet. We haven't actually said equal to some kind of data. So if I were to go after the name person, say equal to some kind of string, which by the way is some kind of text, I can actually set this variable equal to Daniel. So right now this variable has a value. Now there's another way we can actually do this because we could actually declare a variable right now. I can just go ahead and declare this as, I don't know, dog, for example, close it off. So now I've actually declared this variable, but it doesn't have a value yet. But because I already declared the variable, I can actually go ahead and go down to the next line, for example, and say dog is equal to Frida, which is the name of my dog, by the way. There we go. So right now we declared the variable and then we gave it some kind of value. So you can do it either of these two ways. But as you guys can see, the basic idea here is that I'm actually storing information inside these variables. So we can actually use the variables later on for functions or methods that we might create at some point, which we haven't actually talked about yet. But that's why it's so important we learn about vari variables before we actually continue talking about functions and that sort of thing. Now, one thing I want to mention, which you shouldn't learn about yet, but it's just a good thing to know, is that you can store multiple pieces of information inside one variable. And you can do that by actually creating an object. Now, a variable can become an object. And, you know, by doing that, we can store many pieces of data. Let's say person has a name and a age, a gender, you know, a certain height. We could store all that information inside one object, which would actually be a variable we turn into an object. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and stick with learning about variables here. Now, just to kind of show you guys, if I were to document write, which we learned about in one of the previous episodes, something inside our browser, I could actually go ahead and say, okay, we have a variable up here called person. Just going to go ahead and copy the name of the variable and insert it inside our document right. If I save this, go into the browser, refresh, you guys can see it says Daniel because variable person is equal to Daniel. If I were to take variable dog, save it, refresh, you guys can see it's called Frida. So this is the basic way we can actually create a variable. And you just need to remember that the first time you create the variable, you have to use var. Later on, you don't actually need to use var anymore because you already declared it. So everything underneath here, we can actually go ahead and say, okay, well, what if we want to do something with this variable? Let's say I have a variable here. Let's actually go ahead and delete all this stuff. Let's say I have a variable called number one, maybe equal to one. So now we have a different type of data. Now we have a number, so we don't actually need to use the quotation marks. Then I have a second variable, which is called number two, which is equal to Two. If I were to, you know, write a function that does something with these here, I can actually go ahead and say, well, we don't even need to write a function. We can actually go ahead and just go inside our document right down here. And we can say number one plus number two. And we don't actually have to write va in, in here, even though we could do it because we're not declaring it. We already declared it up here. We can save this and we get three because one plus two is equal to three. Okay. So 
that's the basic idea behind variables. We will get more into this. Whoops, I can access GI. Forgot a semicolon there. Um, we will be talking more about variables later on and how to make objects out of them and do more complicated things. But for now, just know that this is a variable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time.